Welcome back to Flow State. This is going to be a quick update on the chicken raccoon situation. Um, if you didn't watch my last chicken raccoon video and you want to, the link will be here or down there. Um, so I think where we left off, I had one adult chicken left and five young chickens that were inside and about ready to move outside. Now they've been moved outside and we're down to two young raccoons. Everything else been picked off by these fucking raccoons. Uh, there's two of them, by the way. Uh, I saw them on my on a camera just the other day. So it's not just one raccoon, it's two. And they fucked up all the other chickens, um, except for the last two. So obviously my bow and arrow hunting method is... Um, well, I'm not bow and arrowing any, so I've decided to step up my game and put up my first snare trap. We'll take a look at it in just a second. Um, well, no, let's take a look at it now. Over here is my first snare attempt set up, so let me show you what I got going on here. It's kind of a tangled mess. Board screwed to post in a tree. I drilled a hole through there and there. And you can see that there's um, there's a this is a, a loop cable for like hanging ducks in commercial buildings or whatever. But I've got it looped down here and around the stick that way. This end comes up over the tree, which is the anchor, and is attached to this block. This wedge that the marshmallows and stuff are on is the tension holder. So when something pulls that, it should drop the brick. <laughs> And then, for good measure, I threw another one on. Bigger loop over here and attach it to the same block. So when that block goes down, because um, something pulled this, both of these should go. Now this is just, this is syrup and marshmallows. Apparently raccoons like, like sugar. Um, I've set up a little stump thing so that they can come this way. So there's kind of an obvious path. And then there's, down there, there's two little marshmallows so that hopefully it channel, channels them in this way and they go up through there. And that's all just tangle wire. I, I, I put the extra, or the, uh, the extra slack out of the way so they wouldn't come on this side and start fucking with that. I'm probably gonna take this too. This is just a couple of panels from an old shed that was torn down and and lean it up here so that they kind of just have to walk around over here. So, we'll see how that goes. That's my first snare trap. Um, and it's all legal. Everything's totally legal. I checked the laws. It's on my property. It's, uh, since, since I recorded that, I've actually put a, in Kansas, you got to have a little tag on your traps that say your name and address. So that's on there. It's all legal. It's all buttoned up. And I just want to make that totally clear because you don't want to fuck with game wardens. They will fuck you up. Um, so if you're going to try to snap, uh, snare something, if you're going to try to trap anything, anytime you fuck with an animal, you're better off just knowing the law on that. Um, so I've set up that snare trap. You know, if I catch a raccoon in it, I suppose I'll have to, uh, ideally, ideally it would put its head through the big loop and just, and take care of itself. But probably, <laughs> probably it, I'll have to club it to death like a baby seal. Just kidding. I'll probably have to bow and arrow it then. I'm also going to make a 
a live trap, you know, one of the boxes where the gates come down. The live trap I do have is two, it's like squirrel size, not raccoon size. And uh, those traps are pretty expensive. It's like 130 bucks or something. Um, and these and these raccoons have already cost me well more than that. So I'm kind of uh, reluctant to sink any more money into these things. Really just out of, out of grudge. It's just a grudge or a principle or something. Um, but I'm going to make one. I'm going to make a live trap too and set that up as well. You know, I spend more, I waste more time and money trying to do things like this and save myself a little money by just making a trap or doing this or that, or I've got a, I need a new side view mirror for my truck and I've got one in it that I got from pick and pull. That's not the right mirror. It's from a, from a Chevy trailblazer and I need one for a Chevy Silverado and I was like, oh, well this might work, but it doesn't. So I'm going to have to return it and order, just order one online, but regardless even though I know this about myself, I'm still going to make a live trap instead of buy one. So, um, you know, that's just where we're at. I got two chickens left and they're two fat ass raccoons waddling around. And right now chickens are like chickens are gold, man. I got to have some chickens or I'll be part of the peasantry. So... Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, share, and if you're going to do anything with animals, like hunt them or trap them, check your local laws. Game wardens will fuck your shit up. And uh, if you're at all in doubt, don't post videos of it on YouTube. Thanks. Love my chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. You touch my chicken, I beat you up. When I buy my chicken, you gotta go. Ask me for a piece, you out the dough. Eat my chicken with crystal hot sauce. Eat it so much, call me the root the boss. Cock a doo the dude, they see me coming.